I don't know, what, what says perfect? I don't know. Is it the chef's kiss? <laughs> this is my my perfect call face. All right. That's awesome. Hey everybody, I'm super excited for today's episode. We have been working diligently on the last, gosh, for a number of months now, perfecting the phone call. So now this is kind of the culmination of all those efforts uh, put together where we're gonna listen to the perfect call, okay? Unfortunately, it's not a real call, uh, but that's all right, that's all right. I, I don't know if there is actually such thing as a perfect call, but what we've done is try to put all the pieces together that we've, talkin that we've spoken about and uh, put it in one call. Now, if we were to actually include every little thing that we thought might need to go on a call to be the actual perfect call, it would, it would be probably a, a pretty lengthy call. We've narrowed it down to about seven minutes. Um, so I'm super stoked. We're gonna listen in. We'll pause a few times along the way to talk about it, um, but then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up in the end and we'll talk about what next steps look like. So Josh, anything else we need to mention before we get going? No, sounds good to me. Just not a real call. It's our <laughs> version of a perfect call. Just want to make yes. that super clear. <laughs> yes. And I'm excited to see this because, you know, we, we worked on the uh, the kind of the narrative together, but um, I haven't actually seen it all put together or, or heard it. So let's uh, let's get it going. And like I said, we'll pause a few times along the way and just, just talk about it. This is Who am I speaking with today? Hey. Okay, and how you doing today? I guess I'm doing all right. I, I can't really complain. Uh, how about yourself? Oh, I'm good. You know, I just keep trucking along, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I see what you did there. Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. Well, uh, how can I help you today? Is there anything in particular you wanted to talk or ask about? Should I mention that the bleeps are, are names? Yeah, right. The, the bleeps are names. I guess since it's fake, I didn't have to do that. But just to yeah. keep with our aesthetic, I, I I tried to make it as realistic as possible. So yeah, I, makes I sense. bleeped any name or route information that would normally be bleeped on our show. Perfect. Perfect. Just wanted to clarify that nobody was cussing yet at this point. No. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to see if you were still hiring for that dedicated position out of... Yes, sir, we are. Uh, if you don't mind me asking... Um, how did you hear about us? I, I'm pretty sure it was on Facebook. All right. Okay. Uh, well, what'd you like about what you saw? Well, it looked like the home time and pay were pretty good. All right. So the bleeps then, obviously we're using the name a lot, which is a good thing. Um, I like that question right off the bat, um, because... I do hear recruiters often ask like, well, how'd you hear of us or, or where'd you see us? And the driver will respond and then the recruiter will move right along. So in this instance here, instead of just moving right along, it's asking, cause something got that driver to respond, right? There was something about what they heard, what they saw that perked the driver's interest. It's probably important to know what, what that is. Um, so I, I love that question. Uh, but I did want to see, uh, how many miles do your drivers typically get? Well, that depends on the lane they're running. So we'll get into what's available in your area so I can give you the details on that. Uh, but besides miles, um, what else do you want to make sure that we cover? Well, uh, let's see, I guess. Another great thing here is so many times we're, we're really tempted to just go ahead and answer the first question that comes from a driver. Um, while there may not be anything wrong with that, what I like about this approach is we acknowledge that drivers got questions, but instead of just jumping in and trying to answer them without a whole lot of context just yet, it's, well, let's get those other questions out on the table and find out what's important to the driver right up front. And uh, that way we make sure to cover, you know, the things that are top of mind for him or her. And so that's, that's exactly what's going on here. So what, what kind of trucks do y'all use? Perfect, okay, so we got miles, equipment, what else? Uh, 
any guaranteed pay? We've got a number of ways we can get you paid as much as possible, so we'll go over how that works too, okay? Uh, anything else? Uh, I, I'm sure I'll think of some more questions as we go, though. Cool, okay, that sounds good. Well, since you're interested in home time, let me start out by asking, are you currently driving for a fleet? And if you are, how often are you looking to get home currently? Yes, sir, uh, right now I'm with I'm running the mostly. Uh, and I'm typically out for around three weeks, and then I'm down for two to three days before I have to go back out. Okay, I see. Uh, and, and what's got you considering other options? Well, I don't necessarily mind being out for three weeks, but if I'm going out that long, uh, I expect to be bringing in some serious coin. All right. So once again, what I like about where we're headed early on in this call is motivation. I'm finding out what what the driver once again cares about what what got them to take a little bit of action um, to make that phone call so we're finding out right away what what the driver's been up to and what he doesn't like about his current situation um, once we understand that we can begin to put the pieces together of okay you're not happy with these things here's what we have to offer do those things match do they align okay tell me some more about that what what do you consider serious coin well, you know, they, they said I'd be running around 2,800 miles per week, and I'm looking to get 2,000 most weeks. Wow, okay. Uh, well, I don't blame you for looking at other options. Uh, what's that done to your paychecks? Well, really, they're kind of all over the place. I, I really need to be bringing in at least 1,200 a week, and uh, that, that doesn't seem to be happening very often. All right, well, you probably saw this on Facebook, but our drivers get around $1,000 per week guaranteed for the first 90 days. And our drivers who are willing to get after it average about 1500 a week. How would something like that look for you? I, I mean, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Good deal. And you know, when we annualize that, that comes close to 80,000 a year. All right, so let me ask you, how long have you been driving? I've been driving right around seven years now. Excellent. Uh, now, I was able to pull up some information on you here as we've been talking. Uh, it looks like you've already filled out some paperwork for us before. Has there been any changes on your driving record since last year? No, sir. Everything should still be clean on there. Now, it says here you drive primarily flatbed. Is, uh, is that still the case? Yep. Still running flatbed. Okay. So, in the area, we do have some dedicated flatbed openings available, and it looks like at the moment, if we got you running with us, we could have you home for a couple days every two weeks. Every two? Yep. Yes, sir. Every two. Uh, so, w what are your thoughts on that? If you all pay like you say. All right. So, once again, so many times it, it's tempting to give the information and then just keep moving right right forward. But what that does is um, not allow the emotional side of making a decision come into play, right? So we need to help folks make emotional connections to the information that's being discussed. And uh, that it's fairly simple, right? Stop, stop the conversation a little bit, ask a question, get them to make that emotional connection. Otherwise, it's just trying to beat them over the head with logic. And um, we know that both sides come into play here, right? The emotional side, the logical side. Um, so that's, that's what I like, once again, going back to the, the perfect call here, right? Is really allowing that driver to express, yeah, I think that will work or maybe it won't, but give them an opportunity to say it. You do, I, I'm fine with two weeks out, yeah. Okay, so that would definitely get you home more often than what you're running right now. And I will say too, our tractors are all on the newer side. We just upgraded our trucks not too long ago, so if you were to come and work with us, you'd be running a truck less than three years old. Uh, I know that's important to a lot of guys. Would that be something that would move the needle for you? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, the truck I'm in right now has Let's just say it seemed better days. <laughs> well, you know, I, I hear that pretty often. Uh, how often do you have problems with it? So once again, it would be really easy to just move forward, skirt on by the issue, right? Which is he's currently in a truck that, that 
has problems. Um, and that may be enough, right, to just keep on moving forward. But by asking the additional question of, of what does that actually mean, the driver's then beginning to solidify in his or her head, I've got to make a change, right? There's a lot of reasons why this isn't working for me. This sounds like a better fit. Let, let me move forward with that. And it comes from little questions like that that make a big difference. Man, it seems like every other month I get stuck somewhere because that piece of trash truck keeps breaking down. I hear you. That's, uh, that's frustrating. Well, once we get you all taken care of here and you get all set up, you wouldn't have to deal with an older truck anymore. Yeah, I, I, I like the sound of that. Good, good. Now, I know when we started, you said you want to learn more about paying, home time, and equipment. Uh, I think we've covered all those things, and based on what you've heard, uh, do you think you'd be successful here with us? I, I think so, yeah. Awesome. I think so, too. Uh, you've got great experience under your belt, a clean record, and you're tired of driving a bad truck, not getting enough miles. Any reason you can think of that this would not work for you? Oh, it, it, it all sounds pretty good. Okay, great. Uh, I still have your info pulled up here, and it looks like I've got a lot of it. But we can walk through this together if you want to go ahead and get this app buttoned up and see about moving on to the next step. What do you say? Sounds good. Fire away. Okay, that just. All right, so that noise you heard, I guess they'll see it. Um, but instead of recapturing what it would take to walk somebody through a full application, um, went ahead and fast forwarded that piece, right? And that way we can move forward with the actual conversation. So doing the application on the phone so many times, you know, I don't hear that, which, you know, there may be a number of reasons why um, people don't, but, or recruiters don't. I love walking through with the driver. Um, it, it just increases that level of commitment when we can get it done together and allow us to build more uh, of, of rapport, more trust, um, and time equals commitment, right? That way we also know by the time the call ends, it's done. Uh, so many times we, we say, well, we'll send you the link, and they say they'll get to it later, but then later comes, and they've had four more calls with different recruiters by then. And um, this way, at least, we can start moving that process forward even faster. So. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep listening to the call to see how this recruiter closes it out, right? What do next steps look like? And uh, then we'll talk about, in the end, the takeaway, so. It about does it as far as paperwork goes. Uh, I can go ahead and get this submitted. It does usually take a little bit of time to process, as you know, um, but how soon would you like to start getting more of that home time? Well, as uh, soon as possible, really. All right, I love it, cool. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll put this through and we will push it through as fast as I can. Another thing I like there is instead of saying, how soon would you like to start? It's how soon would you like to start seeing better home time? All right, so tying it back to the driver's motivation. Um, instead of just keeping it generic, it lets the driver know we're listening, right? And we understand their motivation and we want to see them um, in a better situation because they're clearly not happy with what currently is going on. Uh, we've got an orientation on Monday. Does that work? Yeah, that, that sounds good. Where is it? Awesome. It's actually at our terminal. I'll send you an email now with all the information we've covered today along with that orientation information. Okay, that's uh, no problem. Excellent. Now, is there anything else you want to cover? Uh, you know, nothing I can think of. The pay has always been my main issue. The home time seems fine, and having a newer truck is a plus, so I think that covers most of it. Okay, well, if there's nothing else for now, I'll reach back out to you tomorrow to make sure we get that travel and everything all squared away. All righty, then. Well, well, thank you so much. You bet, man. Not a problem. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Now, does around this time tomorrow, does, does that work for you? Yes, sir. Perfect. Well, you have a good one. Keep an eye out for that email, okay? Will do. All righty. Thank you, man. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye. All right. So as this wrapped up, a couple things that I liked there um, were 
not leaving it open-ended, right? Like what's the next step, what's gonna happen? It just, it adds clarity to the process of, I'm gonna send you an email with a recap. I think that's great, keeps it out in front of the driver. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. And then even a time was decided on around the same time tomorrow. Give them an update on, on where the application processing is at. Continue to tell them the great things about, about coming to, to work together. And so I think that was a, a, a pretty good conclusion to the call right there. Um, so we stopped and went over a number of things. There's other things that uh, we, we definitely um, tried to include in this call that we didn't talk about today. Um, but something I'm excited about, Josh and I are gonna work on together is putting together a cheat sheet, right? So it's almost a review of, of the previous calls that we've done that have led us to this point. Um, and that way, there's a framework in place. Um, listen, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna suggest this is the only framework that will work for a phone call, but it's a pretty good example, right? It's understanding the tools, putting those tools in your tool belt, knowing that you probably won't use every tool for every conversation, but being able to pull them out at will, um, depending on the situation and the flow of the call is, is really, really important. Um, and so we'll get that, we'll get that, um, make it available so y'all can download it, share it, talk about it. And whether you use that one or come up with your own, breaking it down to mini skills and then perfecting those mini skills is then what leads to a perfect call, right? Not using all of them on every call, like I said, but when the situation calls for it, hey, you've perfected that skill. And as you string those together, that's ultimately what makes the perfect call. So Josh, what am I missing? Any, anything else we need to let them know? Yeah, I think you got it. Covered all the, the hit list of your perfect call. Let them know about our cheat sheet. It'll be available on the blog page and in the description on YouTube when this goes up so they can check that out and see what we put together for them. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this series. We've got some new ideas um, that we're gonna be sharing in the future. Um, so stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot of different takes on things that we enjoy doing it and, and we're hoping it makes a difference and that we all work together uh, to make sure that the driver experience is as good as it can be. So thanks everybody.